Hey, it's Kira. And hey, it's Tommy. And welcome to our June manga haul. We thought this was going to be a small haul until we started to stack up all the manga on the floor for this video. And then we realized how much stuff we really got this month. Right. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff came from friends. Uh, right stuff order placed back in April came in this month. So, you know, that's always a pleasant surprise. Plus, we went shopping and we found some really good deals on some manga for like $3 a volume. Um, if y'all haven't seen that video, y'all can check it out. We'll link it below. And um, yeah, big, big month unexpectedly because yeah we didn't even realize until about five minutes ago that um we bought a lot of stuff this month yeah so um we'll get right into that but first we want to say thank you for 800 subs everybody and yes thank you <laughs> yeah if you guys uh liked manga hauls and content like that uh make sure to like and subscribe uh we're doing a giveaway at a thousand subs as well as a collection video coming soon so let's just get right into this manga haul First series up this month is one that was on my wish list, which was one of the very first videos that we ever did, and that is Strobe Edge. And I love the series. I've read it probably 10 times. I don't know. Um, really, really good. It's by Iosaki Sako, who writes Blue Spring Ride, Love Me, Love Me Not. Um, I don't know. That's Strobe Edge. <laughs> Strobe Edge. Um, a lot of people like this one more than Blue Spring Ride, which Blue Spring Ride's like super popular, so um it just depends some of these volumes are out of print and became more and more out of print as time went on and um yeah just hard to find but luckily was able to find them all tommy was able to to find them for me so i'm very very thankful <laughs> for that yeah um strawberry edge volume six was a, a pain to track down but it happened eventually and we're tap oh, excuse me we're super happy to get this checked off the wish list super super happy all right, for me, this was a series I didn't even put on the wish list because I had it as an honorable mention because I didn't think I'd ever get it, but I'm super happy to have, and that was Zatch Bell, volume 17 through 25. Oh my goodness, this was just a scoop, and I'm just super happy to finally have this series complete after all these years. Um, I slacked off picking these up, and I regretted it, but I managed to find a set during quarantine last year and then i managed to pick up the rest over this past month i just really just buckled down and found the rest and finally finally i have that spell complete so i can scratch that off my uh honorable mention list next series is another one that i've been wanting for a while and that is kadocha and this is a 10 volume series i've been wanting it for a while and i know that they were hard to find so i never really put any effort into finding it um, mostly because I don't like to spend money, believe it or not. <laughs> and um, yeah, I uh, kind of just was like, oh, you know, one day I'll, one day I'll pick it up. One day I'll pick it up. And we just happened to find pretty like what six volumes of it or five volumes of it. Yeah. For three dollars a volume. For three dollars a volume. So at that point, it was like, well, we might as well just get all of it. And so three dollars. <laughs> And so, yeah, Tommy went out and found the rest for me. He's pretty good at finding finding mystery volumes, like. <laughs> mystery. Um, yeah, um, yeah, we found the most expensive volumes for $3 a piece. Um, I saw 10 going for ridiculous prices, but we, um, we found the rest of them for fairly priced, honestly. So I didn't, um, I didn't have an issue with, uh, just picking up the rest. <laughs> you like the squirrel? The squirrel's mad cute. The next series I picked up was Hina Matsuri. Volumes 1 through 12, and I picked this up off our friend Weedu. Um, he did actually retire from YouTube sadly, so he was selling his collection. So I managed to grab these off of him. And I don't know what this series is about, but from the covers, it looked kind of funny. And uh, I think I think it has something to do with a uh, girl with psychic powers. It might be a comedy, but I was interested in this series, so I did want to pick it up and check it out. So I definitely will get into this in the near future. Here's just a few of the covers. As you can see, there's always this uh, bro, uh, fish eggs on her. I forgot what the what was that caviar? I'm not sure what the, the word for that is. Yeah, I think it's caviar. Yeah. On every volume. Yeah, on every <laughs> single volume, it's somewhere. But yeah, super glad to uh, check this out in the near future. Next series was another series that I found for three dollars a volume. And that is Rin Me or Rin Ne. I'm not sure how to say this. <laughs> Rin um, Yeah, I always say Rin Me whenever it's me and Tommy. But um, as you can see, I got volumes one. No, 11. Oh, I mean 11, <laughs> 11 through 22 and then 27. 
and there, this has like a lot of volumes out. I think like 37 right now or 39 I'm not sure but um, I've been wanting to pick it up um, if you can't well you can't really see on the camera but I have all of Ronda right here and then most of Inuyasha over here so of course I want to pick this up by Rumiko Takahashi as well and um, it has a lot of volume so I kind of kept putting it off putting it off and um, I thought about just picking them up all up on right stuff and um, as you know like manga on right stuff is like well like six to seven dollars and so when I found these for three dollars a volume I literally just had to buy them because you can't beat that yeah, it's like Facebook marketplace prices so. yeah you really cannot beat that so um, here's a couple covers and I'm sure this is really good. I really like her other works, and so I'm sure that I'm gonna like this as well. So, um, yeah, super, super happy to find these, and can't really beat that kind of deal. Okay. All right, so with a heavy heart, I have to show my next series, which is Berserk. Um, I have volume 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, I'm, I'll just show you guys a few covers. Uh, <laughs> you'll see the spawn in a second. But um, I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna get these because when I ordered them on Right Stuff back in April, they were all out of stock and they actually came in early June. But you know, when Mira passed, he um, a lot of these went in high demand and I wasn't sure if these would ever like, you know, get printed fast enough for like enough people to get them. And then, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, but my volume 24 is like in shrink wrap or like saran wrap instead of like shrink wrap. But like, I'm not mad at all because I'm just glad to have these volumes in general. But as you guys know, Berserk has beautiful artwork. The covers are no exception. And yeah, I'm just glad to have, finally, after all this time, a complete set of Berserk. Um, I got two more covers. It's 36. And finally, 37, the last to complete my set. Another Right Stuff purchase that came in this month is another series I've been wanting to get for a while. And that's My Neighbor Seki. This one just looks so cute and funny. Um, it gives me like, Nichi Jao vibes or Nichi Joe vibes, kind of, but not really. Um, just because it looks just cute and funny. But um, we're missing volume two and volume eight, I believe, um, are still on back order. We already had volume three um, from our local store. So just waiting on two more volumes so that I can finally read this one. Yeah, and trying to tell which volumes you don't have uh, with just by thinking about it is tough because a lot of these volumes look the same because you know they're just sitting at their desk yeah they're all the, the covers are all the same but different you know and it's just so cute i just love it right the next series i have is tuxedo Geen volumes one through eight except for seven we might already have seven i'm not sure but here's a few of the covers as you saw these are like 350. i picked these up from second and charles and yeah super happy to have these and yeah that was a back when we were up in gainesville we grabbed these so i'm going to show you another series i grabbed up in gainesville and that's pet shop of horrors but this one's tokyo pet shop of horrors volumes four five six seven volume eight and then pet shop of horrors volume three uh this was recommended to us in the comments um, we're gonna try and piece this together uh so far it's looking a little tough but we managed to grab a great chunk of this and super happy to have done that so when we find that we'll let you guys know this next series is one that literally just came in today so i haven't got to read or anything or know anything about it but that is of the red the light and the ayakashi and this is like um getting some traction i guess you could say over on like shoujo youtube side of youtube um and so I kept hearing them talk, like the people talk about it and stuff. And I was like, Ooh, like, you know, that looks interesting. But I know that some of the volumes are going out of print and are more expensive. But my friend Kazzy was getting rid of this. So um, we got a lot of manga from her this month, actually, which y'all will see coming up. Yeah, and she finally, finally made a YouTube channel. So we're going to link that down in the description so you guys can go check her out. Yeah, um, definitely check out her videos. Um, yeah, she just started, so definitely got to support her. And um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff from her. We actually traded her for this, um, our full set of Attack on Titan, mm -hmm. um, which we wanted to get rid of. And um, yeah, so super good. We both got some good deals from her or like some good manga that we've been wanting. So definitely thankful for that. The next series I got was also one from Kazzy, so thank you so much. And this was Lone Wolf and Cub Volume 1. 
Um, we're super happy to have this because this finally completes our new little muffin cup set. So we finally have both of those done. But what I'm more excited for is Kazzy sent me Resident Evil Volumes 2 and Volumes 3. Uh, if you know, I've been on the lookout for this and she has a few volumes that she's trying to get rid of and these are ones that I needed super bad. So thank you so much, Kazzy. And remember, you guys go check her out. The next series was one that we got from the Prom G or that I got from the Prom G. I'm really ha happy that he had these volumes and he was selling them last month. And I told him like, yo, I want to get them like as soon as No Manga Maze is over and I can buy manga again. I want to get it and that is worst. Worst. <laughs> that was horrible. I'm sorry. Worst. Um, anyways, um, this is by the same mangaka that writes Crows, which is a series that I read, um, for the book club that me and Tommy were in, like, a long time ago. And, um, I believe there's only these three volumes printed in English of Worst, but, um, I'm really looking forward to reading this. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, but yeah, Crows was pretty good. It's a, it's a delinquent series, but it's, like, older, and the art style's, like, older. But, um, still pretty good. So, would recommend. All right, so like I say every month, it's a uh, Kieran Tommy manga haul without some Osamu Tezuka. So I picked up Swallowing the Earth, Ludwig, excuse me, Ludwig B, Volumes 1 and Volumes 2, Alabaster, Volumes 1 and Volumes 2, excuse me. So, you know, just super happy, glad to have some more Osamu Tezuka. Uh, or Samu Tezuka collections getting smaller, I mean bigger and bigger, <laughs> sorry, by every haul, but you know, that's the point, and I'm glad. Next up is a find from our local comic book shop, and that is It's a War Beat Volume 8, Volume 9, Volume 10, and Volume 15. And we're just piecing this together a little bit at a time. So now we have 1 through 10, and then like some of the upper volumes. I'm super happy to have these, and as you can see, the tanuki. here I got them for $4.99 a piece. So always happy with that, and happy to support you know our, our friend over at the the comic book shop. Right. He's pretty cool, the owner. So yeah, he's super cool. So the next series I have is Trigun Volume One, and then Trigun Maximum Volume One also. Um, these are 15 a piece. Uh, a friend of mine actually sent these to me, and I'm super happy for that. So thank you, Brandon. Um, and yeah, I have Trigon, I have Trigon Volume 2 already, so I just wanted to make sure I got Trigon Volume 1 to complete that, and then with the maximum, uh, yeah, I mean, whatever I find for this, I'll take, but yeah, it's gonna be really hard to piece together right now, but we'll see what happens. Alright, so if y'all don't know, by now, June is Pride Month, so y'all know I had to buy some, some Yuri and some Shonen Eye, so... Here's that. This is called The Conditions of Paradise, and I saw it at um, Books a Million when we went in one day, and it just looked really cute. And this is a Yuri, and it's like an anthology, so I wanna say there's like seven stories in here. As you can tell, they're pretty short, cause like there's not very many pages, but um, it was really, really good. Yeah, it's actually shocking. I didn't know there'd be seven stories in that yeah. little volume. And then um, the next one was My Summer of You, and this is volume one, so I guess it's gonna continue to go. It honestly could have ended like where it was at. Um, but this is really cute. It's just about these two guys that are friends. They like movies, so they just talk about movies and stuff. And um, obviously, like, you know, there's a romance factor. But um, really, really good. I would definitely recommend both of these if that's something that you're interested in. So, pretty good. So the next lot I picked up was by Jiro Taniguchi. Uh, just some works by him, including Benkei in New York, The Quest for the Missing Girl, Samurai Legend, and The Times of Bochan. Um, excuse me. I hear Jiro Taniguchi's a good mangaka, so I'm excited to check out some of his stories. I hear Benke in New York and, ooh, excuse me, The Quest for the Missing Girl are pretty good, so I'm definitely excited to check those out. Um, here's the covers. His art seems really good as well, so that's going to be exciting for me to check out. And excuse the squeaking. I don't know why it's doing that, but here's some of the covers. Last but not least, here we go. Next up is another series I got from Kazzy, and that is The Wolf Boy Is Mine, volumes one through four. And this is just a really short shoujo series. It's by the same mangaka that does Those Not So Sweet Boys and Love and Focus, which is two series that I really like. And this is just about a girl um, and a guy or whatever. The guy turns into a wolf, like he has a secret or whatever. So 
um they say they say it's like comparable to like a really short version of fruits basket but like not really but kind of <laughs> um but yeah i know that this they're coming out with omnibus of this um i don't know if it's gonna be like all in one or if it's gonna be like two omnibus but um yeah i wanted to pick up the singles while i could i didn't know if they were gonna go out of print or not and then also from Cassie, i got Psycho Pass volumes one through three and i've always been interested in Psycho Pass. Um, I don't know how good the manga is compared to the anime. I hear the anime like is excellent. The games or whatever. I don't know. I only know about um, the anime so far. So yeah, but excited to have this and check it out. So I will be getting into that soon. So the next thing I have is even a monkey can draw manga. Um, we picked this up at Second and Charles. And I mean, for the price, you really couldn't beat it. So we're happy to have that. And I'll check that out soon. Uh, but the next thing I do have is Voyeur by Hideo Yamamoto. Voyeur. Voyeur. <laughs> We're super happy to pick this up. Um, I believe Voyeur is the prequel to Voyeur's Inc., which I have volumes one, two, and three. And the mangaka of this actually also wrote Homunculus, which is another obscure series that I hear nothing but good things about. So I definitely want to check this out also. And finally, for me, I got shortcuts volumes one and two by usamaru furia who also wrote no longer human which you know is uh, a manga i hope to get at some point but i also picked up gengaku picasso volumes two oh sorry one two and three also by Us usamaru furia so uh sort of tried to bang these all out pretty fast to <sighs> make the video a little shorter right so sorry if i'm out of breath <laughs> <laughs> Next, I have another series that Kazzy helped me with, and that is Zombie Powder. She sent me three and four, and I actually had these for a minute, but I forgot to put them in the haul, so. <laughs> um, one and two, I was able to pick up on Amazon for like, I wanna say like $3 a piece, or a dollar something a piece, or some, something crazy, and then she found three and four for cheap too, so. I'm um, really happy to have this, and you know, this is by the same Mangaka as Bleach, if y'all don't know. Um, <laughs> so, um, I've been wanting to read this. I've seen it on the Shonen Jump app and been interested. I just haven't got around to it, but I will soon because I love Bleach, even though Tommy does not. <laughs> yeah, I'll read the manga. I'll give it another try, but um, we'll see. But yeah, I love Bleach a lot. So, I'm super, super excited to have this complete finally. The next two volumes I picked up were Gintama volumes 6 and 21, which are both hard as heck to find, but glad to have those because that just completed my Gintama set. And then I've got Reborn volume 15. Um, I'm missing two more volumes for Reborn for that to be done. I think it's 14 and 16, so hopefully I'll find those real soon. Oops, excuse me. And then I've got, oh my goodness, <laughs> the all-new Tenchi Muyo volumes 1, 2, and 3. And uh, I know this is a classic series from like the 90s and stuff like that, but uh, I'm missing the series before this and then the series after this. So, uh, so far, this is all I have of the series so far. All right, I got a few different series here. These are our ongoings. And so I have Spy Family Volume 5. Go. It's really good ongoing. I actually haven't read it yet. Um, Tommy re reads it, but I haven't, so I need to get into that. And then we got the GOAT. The yeah. Absolute GOAT, Chainsaw Man, Volume 5. The PV just dropped. If you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. It looks so good. Yeah. Anime of the Year material, I think so. Super excited for that. You know that. Um, Ultimate Muscle, Volume 24. And this is because we had Volume 22 and we sold it. Um, someone on Reddit that was looking for it, so... Tommy bought this to like so that we still have a volume of it. <laughs> yeah, that's what helped me actually get Zatch Bell. Uh, so, yeah. It was worth it. Right. Beast Complex Volume One. Uh, um, I haven't read this yet. I know these are sh some short stories uh, by the person who does Beast Stars, but um, I'll get around to it soon. Yeah, we neither one of us has read this one yet. And then Jujutsu Kaisen Volume Ten, which is the start of the Shibuya arc, which was a really really good arc. Um, yeah, y'all know about Jujutsu Kaisen at this point, I would think. So, <laughs> um, yep, here's um, some of the things that we got this month. The next volumes I picked up were High School of the Dead Volume 1, which we were actually missing. Um, I didn't notice for a while, but glad to have grabbed that while it was still on Amazon. And then High School of the Dead Volume 5, um, I actually got a store to send this to me, and that completes our set, so I'm super happy to have that done. 
now we have school rumble volume two um i promise i will find a full set of this soon because this is a series i definitely want um and i haven't really seen a lot so i want to make sure to grab that real soon then i got space dandy volume two i saw a comment that told us to scoop this up so i did um i know this is a adaptation from the anime so um i don't know how this is gonna be it's sort of like the cowboy bebop we picked up so we'll maybe it won't be as good but we'll see then we got fate zero volume three um we have one two, one and two now we have three so um i'm not sure how many volumes are in this series but we'll just keep picking up as we see them and then finally we got devil man grimoire volume three um i don't know if the series is going out of print or anything like that but um volume three in particular has been really hard to find outside of stores so uh, i'm just glad to have this and i'm gonna grab the rest of grimoire to make sure i'm not stuck with the first three volumes all right finally for me finally for me i have volume six and volume eight of real volume eight of real took me so long to track down even though you know one two and three are like the hard ones to find but eight, uh, I swear, vanished off the internet until one day I came across it. So I was happy for that. Next, I got volumes. Well, I guess I'm going backwards. Volumes nine, volumes eight, volume six, and volume five of Sanctuary. Uh, I thought I ordered all of them, but I actually did not. So <laughs> um, I guess the rest of them will be in the next haul. Um, I'm super glad to have that. Um, as you know, I've been trying to pick up all of Ryoichi Ikigami's works, so this is definitely, uh, I guess the hardest of them to track down. And then finally, I've got Kill la Kill, Volume 1 by Udon, in the hardcover gold foil edition that you guys saw in our unboxing earlier this month. And yeah, um, finding these, these hardcovers is gonna be tough, but, uh, yeah, I don't know if I ever will, but I know I will have Volume 1, so <laughs> glad to have that for sure. And then the last of my manga that I got this month, first up was Horror Me Volume 14. And um, I've been buying this series for like a long time and I just kind of put it off. And now the volumes are like hard to find for some reason. Um, just because I guess because the anime came out. But, I think they're slowly coming back in stock now, so yeah. that's like good. So just grab this one. Um, I'm not even collecting them in order. I don't really care because I've read the series like three times by now, so <laughs> it's all good. Um, Batum Volume 1. I um, found this for a couple dollars, so picked it up. I know these volumes retail is a little expensive, so I'm just gonna pick this up as I can. I know some are rare and some aren't, or however that works. Um, I Hear the Sunspot Volume 1. Um, this is the original one that I bought literally two months ago, and it got lost like in the mail or something, so I had to get a refund from Amazon, and then it was back in stock because I had originally bought from a private seller because it was out of stock, but it came back in stock, so pick this up um this is a bl series um it's really wholesome and it's good enough um for me to buy the rest of the volumes but um i can understand why some people don't like it so i got that and then the last one was actually tommy wanted to pick this one up and that is death note volume 13 this is like the um the guidebook i guess yeah like the rules or like the uh um so it has like inf info on like the people and stuff yeah, like that or books. whatever um pretty cool we don't have the box set so just went ahead and picked this up so how to read how to read happy to have that and that is the last of the manga that we got this month all right so if you made it this far we want to thank you so much for watching uh i know it was a lot of manga to get through for I, sure as y'all can see <laughs> but um yeah thank y'all so much for watching if you like this video be sure and leave us a like or a comment um we like to see y'all's comments on our videos yeah tell us what you picked up this month or uh yeah what you thought anything like that and yeah um i just want to say thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one